Mobile Task Force Kappa 42. Angel reporting in. Guys, I am so sorry about being gone for so long. I've had issues with the last project that I've been assigned to. Anyway, this project is becoming pretty critical. A lot of you have been writing in, telling me that your docs have come up, that you're about to have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Project 682. I'm sorry to hear that this is happening to you, but I'm in the same boat. So listen up. You guys are not the first team that I've sent out against this thing, but you will be the last. And trust me, I mean that in the best way possible. Now, if the advice I gave you about that project isn't enough, let me let you in on a trade secret against 682. Project SCP-895 also known as camera disruption. The following footage I'm about to show you is confidential. I stole it from the record room. It's about two weeks old, give or take. I don't know. I never look at the calendar anymore. All right. Object SCP-895. Object class, Euclid. Er, er, I'm going to call it a Euclid, I guess. Why not? Special containment procedures for Object 895 is that 895 is sealed and closed and stored in an isolated underground containment cell at a depth of approximately 100 meters. No cameras, microphones, or other surveillance equipment may be brought within a 10-meter red zone radius of SCP-895 without express permission from at least two Level 3 personnel. Any on-site personnel exhibiting unusual behavior or signs of psychological trauma are to be screened immediately and removed from the site or terminated if a situation warrants. This goes back to the be careful what you do because being terminated basically means being shot in the face thing. Description. SCP-895 is an ornate oak coffin recovered from the mortuary by SCP personnel on following reports of unusual footage captured by the surveillance equipment installed at that location. When questioned, mortuary staff were unable to determine the source of SCP-895 and how it was transported to the location. Upon attempting to open SCP-895, agents on location found the object empty. However, observers viewing the live camera feed were... SCP-895 causes disruption in video and photographic surveillance equipment within 50 meters similar to vivid, disturbing hallucinations with variable duration and regularity corresponding to the camera's proximity to 895. Within a range of 5 meters from 895, footage captured can cause severe psychological trauma and hysteria in those subjects. These disruptions do not extend to observers physically present within the area. The following audio is a recording of the last endeavor one of my teams undertook under my lead. We were ill-prepared and my team suffered the consequences. Team 1, command. All civilians have been detained and evacuated. You are clear to move in and capture. Command, 1 lead. Roger, we are moving in. We are inside the lobby. Video feed, check. Team 1, command. We are receiving... We are seeing blood on the walls. Please confirm. Negative, command. It's clean in here. Nothing out of the ordinary. It's gone. Team 1, advise possible mimetic properties in effect? Copy command. Team 1, moving into storage area. We are in the storage area. Object located. Christ, it's moving. Team 1, confirm object appears to be alive and moving. Command. Negative. We see no movement. Object appears to be normal. Ma'am, it's empty. The object appears to be empty. Come on, do you copy? Come on, do you copy? We're bugging out. Close that thing. Following incident and the loss of three personnel, the red zone of SCP-895 has been extended from 5 meters to 10 meters, and the security personnel shifts have been receded to four hours as a precaution. I can't tell you exactly how this is going to help you with 682, but I can promise you that it will help you. Get some rest tonight. You're going to need it for what you're about to have to do. Just keep calm, use my advice, and remember, smile for the camera.